One area that uh, got a lot of rain is Lakeview. That's right, and that's where we find our David Jones, who is live right now. David, what are you seeing right now? Well, Lauren, look, as you said, a tremendous, tremendous amount of rain, as you can see behind me, just causing uh, massive amounts of street flooding. We are here uh, in Lakeview off Chappelle. Now, this area got an astounding seven and a half inches of rain over the past, what do you say, like three, three or so hours. I'm joined now with uh, Councilman Joe G. Russo. Joe, you represent this area. Just talk to me about what you've been seeing. Well, it's flooded everywhere, David. And what's kind of interesting is there's some places where we have this tremendous amount of rain, as you saw pulling up on Chappelle and Argon and then other places that are drier. So there's something going on with the fact that some places are drier and some places have so much flooding as you can see right behind you. And I even saw, I mean, you were pulling up here in your city vehicle um, and just like astounded and it got up above your, your, your boots that you have on. Um, what would you say, I mean, is, is causing this? Is it a problem with the catch basins? Well, I think there's two things. One is seven and a half inches in three, three and a half hours is a tremendous amount of rain for the system. At any one point, we got to make sure that we're pumping as much as we possibly can and telling people about that. But I do worry about the catch basins and the linear line and what's being done with them because this is a lower lying area. And now the catch basins, am I right in saying, are, are the city's responsibility? The catch basins and those linear pipes are the city's responsibility through the Department of Public Works. Okay, so what um, what can be done, I mean, from the council level, um, just to, to start trying to address this? I mean, we've got people rowing rowing down down Chappelle here towards us. I mean, you know, we, we, we realize in New Orleans we're always going to see flooding, we're always going to see street flooding, um, but this is a pretty astounding amount. This is a tremendous amount. We've been talking to the city about it for years now. They're in the middle of a drainage study. I'm glad that there is something being done, but now it's time for results. It's, do we need to clean the catch basins more often? Do we need more catch basins? How much linear pipe is being cleaned? And all of that has to be a priority, knowing that this is an area that is lower lying and floods frequently. And now we've, uh, we talked about DPS 7. Um, what, what about the other numbers from around Lakeview? Have, have, have the entire neighborhood been seeing, uh, you know, incredible amounts of, of rain like this? Yeah, every, every place else has to. Right next door, DPS 4 has had a, just a couple inches less. The only issues you saw in the report before we got here is a couple of the pumps near I-10 tripped offline. That just means they went out of order for a period of time. That probably contributed to I-10 being shut down for a period of time. So obviously, every Everything has to work front of the system where the water comes and then as it's being pumped out has to operate properly too. All right, Joe, thank you so much for speaking with us this afternoon. Thank Appreciate you. It. All right, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio for now reporting live in Lakeview. David Jones, Fox 8, Local First.